We're hungry. And our thirst for knowledge. And hunger for food. Has brought Apollo Highway on my plate, Adas, to this place in Dehradun. The school that has been consistently rated as one of the top residential schools in the country. The Dune School. The students of Dune School are known as Doscos. There's a bell ringing in the back. I wonder why that bell rang as soon as I said Dosco. Hmm. Dinner I'm, bell. Dinner bell. I have quite a few friends in the media who are from Dune School. And I can tell you this that it doesn't take that much to make a Dosco as far as those guys are concerned. But for the rest of the country, this is one of the premier educational institutions and we're here to find out what it is that does take to make a Dosco. Dune prides itself on being not just a school but a crucible of character. In fact, their motto is knowledge are light, which is all fine for knowledge, but I hope the food's not light because food and light don't go together. No, no, that, that's not what it means. The knowledge part is heavy. The food is not light as in light and fluffy. The knowledge is our light as in it makes our minds glow with understanding and character. So let me get this right. Knowledge is like dinner, so it should be light. And everything else should be heavy like breakfast. We're going to carry on this debate while I explain this to him. But for now, I'm hungry. A bell is ringing. That probably means that food is in the offing somewhere. And what does it take to feed so many hungry boys running over such a large campus? It's an interesting theory. Stay with that thought. Knowledge is heavy. Food is not involved over here. Light is the wisdom, the light, the glow. Like sunlight. Sunlight! People that know a lot more about education than Rocky and I claim that a well-rounded education is not just about academics. It's also about extracurricular activities. And here in Dune, this extracurricular activity, the music department, is huge. But what I thought was that we were going to eat. <coughs> yes, music is the food of love. Feed your soul, feed your belly, feed whatever yes. you want to feed. He's a little delirious. But while we're talking about music, I must add over here that boys who have passed out of Dune School, and in fact some who are even still here, have actually got grades from Trinity College of 6, 7 and 8 on music, which is quite commendable, because that is not easy at all. I was pretty close there. When I was in school, I was a world-class musician. <laughs> really? My favorite instrument was the lyre. <laughs> He's very and I was good also very fit. As, I was fit as a fiddle. I was. Is he? Yes. Budding Go musicians. On. Don't let me stop you. Don't let me. Just take your flute flight of fantasy. <laughs> what else were you good at? <laughs> but these boys are really good. Come and check this out. They actually know how to play music, unlike the lyre. It's an instrument, lyre. Most people don't even know instrument. We're here with a group of young boys who are looking really focused and really, really capable. Uh, who should I be speaking to? You're the leader of, the, of this group, right? So what are you guys called officially? Um, we are a part of the school orchestra and choir. So this is the Doan School Orchestra, orchestra and, and choir. choir. But how long have you been playing that? Since seven years. Seven years? What are we going to listen to? We're going to play La Pia Tia Dua. That's an assembly song. It's one of the most famous Doon School assembly songs that Toscos remember, even after they leave school. in what is undoubtedly one of the cleanest kitchens that I've stood in in my whole life. We are here with a young gentleman whose name is very difficult to pronounce because my mouth is watering. And when your mouth is watering, it's very hard to say Shri Shri Vastav without spraying. Shrish, how are you the member and the and the manager of the food committee? What, what, is, the, what is your designation? Uh, I'm the secretary of the mess committee. Uh, okay. Basically, it's a uh, committee which decides upon various... Uh, like how did you get this job, dude? Tell um, me. I got elected from like, every house sends uh, two guys to the mess committee. Uh, they elected in the houses. Then uh, there's an election for the secretary. So I stood up for both. I won in my house and I, as well I won her. Uh, so what's the most radical thing that you guys have done in the last since you took over? There have been many changes like uh, mutton was served on Monday, so now it's chicken because frankly the Dosco isn't like mutton that much, so now it's changed okay. to chicken. And instant noodles or like, uh, kind of noodles, they've been uh, stopped. Do you guys get like soft drinks or 
energy drinks etc in your school as we all know like carbonated drinks aren't good for health so we don't serve them at noon right. uh, instead we have like we get juices and other milk shakes for breakfast then juice then we get ors uh, for breaks and chilled ors so you guys are eating how many times a day you start with your morning tea uh, we uh, no we call it the chota hazri okay it's uh, milk and uh, biscuits or milk or rask then we have breakfast at 9 huge breakfast sure. you can eat a lot then there's break at 12 you get fruits and ors for juice then there's lunch at 130 140 and there's tea and then there's tea at 4:30 then there's dinner at 7:30 and then there's night cafe that's at around 9:30 it is a hard life being a student so seven things necessarily and the talk shop which is optional and in between that you do other things like study a little bit and play a little bit <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> other things that makes school important apart from eating are you going to show us around street uh, yeah i'll call mr sanjay makija he's the catering manager okay. and he can show us around hi mr makija welcome how are you mr makija my compliments first this is an exceptionally clean kitchen thank you What's the story behind the roti maker? The idea behind is it, it takes less time, it is more hygienic, and it, there's a uniformity in the product that comes out. This is actually really soft and a nice roti. So I have friends who passed out from Doon School my age who used to call these rotis by a different name. Do you know what that name yeah, is? Yeah, I think they call it the bulletproof or something. Yes. <laughs> so these are not bulletproof, definitely. No, they are. They are like uh, yes. six years ago, so they were different. Now it's completely soft. Yeah, not only are they soft, they're also very, very healthy. There's there's bits of green leaves, palak in there. Yeah. What's this? Sir? This is beans aloo. It's a dry vegetable preparation at lunch. This is shahi paneer. The <laughs> vegetable was for common for everybody. This is specifically for vegetarians. This is my own favorite uh, dal makhani. This is one of the Costco's favorite uh, butter chicken. Uh, and all that butter is going to go into that, sir. Yeah, why don't you do the honors? Oh, thank you. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Can we start with the eating now? Yeah, sure. Yes. What do I think? Would be yes. nice. Do you have the Indie TV Profit app? All the markets, all the news and your own homemade ready-made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at indietvprofit.com/apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust.